Hello everyone and welcome back to Silver Tears Tarot. Today we're going to do a check-in with your Divine Masculine. So this is going to be a Divine Masculine check-in just to see what kind of messages want to come to us. It'll be a general reading. So it's going to be a general reading that I do for this collective um, as part of the Soulmate series. So it's really not going to resonate with everybody. And um, as I often say, it shouldn't. Um, but if it does resonate with you, you may want to stick around and just kind of see if maybe there are some good messages for you in any of the other videos. Um, you may also want to hit subscribe um, if it feels like maybe these are some messages that you want to be able to keep track of. So um, we're going to go ahead and just jump in. We're going to start with the energetic backdrop. So again, it provides context for us to see um, the rest of the messages. So when we check on your divine masculine and in the vast majority of cases within this collective, you are uh, the, the viewer is the divine feminine and um, the divine masculine will be the person that you're dealing with. We do have a few people um in the in the collective who play the role of the divine masculine and um, but they think they number far fewer than the divine feminines so we've got the king of cups that's come out for the day um or for kind of just this overall energy and you know this energetic backdrop i call it the energy of the day sometimes but really it could be something that has already started to show up in previous days could be something that's going to stick around for a while but it's what's going on right now that's kind of impacting you and it's what um, what you need to be using as your backdrop and when you look at the overall reading. So seeing the King of Cups here, we've seen a little bit of the King of Cups coming out. Now he is dabbling in emotion. In this deck, the King of Cups is not um, staying away from the emotion. He's dabbling in it, which means there are some limitations, but he's also willing to investigate his um his own vulnerability a little bit. So there's something that we haven't been seeing as much of the edge of the, the ability to dabble in that vulnerability. And that's really what wants to stick out in that card. So for those of you who read tarot or who are learning to read tarot, you may notice that sometimes when you pull a card, um, depending on how it looks in that deck and depending on what's happening with that day and what messages are coming through, you may be drawn to something different in the in the card um, than you would sometimes otherwise be. And it can be really uh, part of that message. In this case, the dabbling piece is a big part of the message. So we also have, let's see what we have. We've got the Three of Wands in reverse, the Two of Pentacles in the upright. There's this sense of holding back and really kind of doing everything I'm going to say you, even though it's it's shared energy between you and your person, and in some cases it may feel a little heavier on one side than the other. This kind of feels mutual, but it also feels like it's probably going to pay out pretty differently for, for both of you. So um, there is kind of a business as usual sort of vibe for today. So things are rolling along, things are going as they should be. We've also got this three of wands here that says there's a bit of holding back and a little bit of not having, um, that's a card of setting things into motion sometimes. And this is a card of kind of not having done that, but kind of consciously not having done that. Not in a super hold back sort of way, just um, just kind of hasn't stopped holding back yet. It's it's not um, it's not a super dramatic energy or anything. It's but it is the energy of I haven't done this because for whatever reason, I'm looking to hold off for a little bit longer. Um, and yet there's that sense of dabbling in the emotion there with the King of Cups. So limited emotion that's able to flow at this time, but some emotion that's able to flow. And so some of these days we get in there and it's just like flat out Ace of Cups in reverse. There is no energy flowing. Um, it's just not, I mean, not that the energy isn't there, not that the emotion isn't there, but maybe it's not flowing so much. So here we see at least a little bit of flow. Um, it's not doing much, it's not getting in the way of regular daily life. That feels like it's um, definitely true for your person. This is awesome. There's a sense of, um, there's a sense of happiness and a sense of 
But this is more than happiness. This has got like a strong element of opportunity to it. A strong element of opportunity and just an awareness with the universe card here in the reverse. This is kind of like the equivalent of the world card in the traditional tarot. Um, the, the universe card here in the reverse is saying there's still more to discover. There's still more that, that is coming for you that's going to help you, that's going to give you some perspective. The sun card says um, it, it talks more about opportunity opportunity than it does happiness but that opportunity leads toward happiness but the thing that strikes me the most is that this is something that you know um, or something that your person knows this is all of this energy is shared but it feels a little bit heavier in their energy right now which is just is fine it's fitting because I mean ultimately this message or this reading is going to be about them anyway so um feeling like they're coming out a little bit more heavily in this um, energetic backdrop is sounds about right to me but they do have this it's a, like a liberating sense that something isn't over and that they have an opportunity left you've got the ace of cups there's the flow of emotion and electricity and energy and everything that flows and goes toward um it, it finds the path of least resistance so this ace of cups energy this is love energy that may find the path of least resistance but it seems like it's only kind of coming out at a trickle or steam at this point so um, yes it's an ace of cups it also feels impacted by that dabbling sort of energy it isn't um it isn't all of the energy flowing as as much as it could be but it's still so much better than everything feeling closed off energy of movement with the chariot and wow we've got the emperor so this is a balanced emperor that is balanced masculine energy somebody's feeling pretty good about things and has managed to get out of their head enough that they actually are going to be able to do something about it they're actually going to be able to um boy we didn't want those next ones so the next cards were not part of the reading but they didn't match the vibe of the reading either we wouldn't have um, wouldn't have wanted to see them it would have meant oh but here's the big but um, and in this case everything here seems pretty realistic it doesn't seem like it's too good to be true this is dabbling in emotion and a good movement ability to move forward with the chariot card this this emperor energy being balanced gives you a sense that they would be able to actually take action in addition to just having these feelings that there's opportunity because of something not being over um, emotion being able to move a little bit but this eight of swords in the reverse is maybe even my favorite part because this is where they're not overthinking they're not overdoing it they're not going too far into um, what they into their fears and that's something that we've been seeing a lot you know we did a reading yesterday on why your person is so afraid and that one had um, super intense um, extended where we went in and we looked to see why um <clears throat> a little bit more about like what do they think is going to happen if they allow this tower to fall because the tower came out but it came out like sideways they were trying not to let it happen have a lot of resistance to it but it's kind of happening anyway and so we looked into well what about that tower what happens and i tried to make it like shape it all into one question and it just all over the place and i ended up with here's all of why and it is extensive they are afraid to allow that tower to fall allow that decision to be made oh and by the way here's what you can do about it so it was a neat one but it was um ended up getting a little bit on the deep side so when i see energy like this where they are able to um and and you know this is coming right you know that this positive energy also is going to come it's just we weren't seeing as much of that in um in some of the reading yesterday and yet it wasn't it wasn't all bad news i don't mean to make it sound like that it just was um it's nice to see that they've come out of the overthinking that there's some opportunity there it's this ace of wands energy that helps to do it for them um which begets the fool energy so this is that ace of wands energy is what we've been seeing with um 
we've been seeing this come out a lot. It came out in yesterday's reading, um, maybe, I think twice. I think it came out more than once because it was um, once in the original reading and then another time in the extended. And there may even have been more mention of this energy in general, which is about that energy that's there for something that's going to help to set your soul on fire. It allows you to learn to jump into the unknown. So it may require a little bit of a jump into the unknown. So if you were using... Um, writing to soothe yourself with regard to this person and you decide to jump into that with both feet and you know write a book there may be some scared nervousness about that because you are jumping in um, but it is not necessarily like what it's preparing you for it's preparing you for being able to truly leave your comfort zone entirely and get into something completely new then we've got the Knight of Wands here in reverse, which talks about, and we've got the Page of Wands in the upright, which is kind of an honorable mention. And actually, I kind of, um, I want to I want to keep this for at least long enough to talk about it, because the Page of Wands in the upright um, offsets the Knight of Wands in the reverse very nicely um, and kind of helps you understand what they're going to do, because this is them at this point. This is just shamelessly talking about them at this point. Um, it's that Ace of Wands energy that something new is coming that's really going to light you up and there's a tendency to want to back off of it, to want to do it um, poorly, to want to do it halfway. Um, but then there's this Page of Wands energy that helps to buoy them and ultimately it ends up kind of catching air and allowing them to get into this full energy that allows them to really do something that's outside their comfort zone in a way that like today they would not quite be able to do. Um, that's something to keep in mind. This is preparing them for something that is an opportunity that's coming in the future. And But the thing is, you know, part of it is they realize that they can feel a little bit of that opportunity coming. So that's exciting. Um, let's look into then what's happening in your person's world. Let's really check to see what's happening um, in your person's world. It looks like there's been a nice little shift in the energy. Um, not a huge shift, just a, you know, it allows things to be perceived in a little bit more positive of a way. And we've got the 10 of pentacles. Okay. So this is all about their material world, their environment. Their focus is very much on what is happening in their in environment right now. What's happening around them right now. Let's learn a little bit more about that environment so we've got the ace of pentacles something new and it's got this um i feel like it's the beginning stages it's it's by no means this fool energy ready to open up <clears throat> It is much more just something that the nature of things is starting to open up for them, but something, it's an opportunity in their world that they can actually see. Um, they know, oh, this is great. They are able to connect this with the fact that it's going to make them feel better. So this reminds me a little bit of, and I just kept it in here. It reminds me a little bit of this page of wands energy. It was supposed to be an honorable mention, but I liked it so much with this Knight of Wands that I just, um, I, I set it down and now I feel like I, I should leave it there. Um, even though that was not originally maybe where I was headed. It, those two pieces really, I think, signify kind of what's happening with this devil energy incredibly well, because it's this, this fear that makes them kind of want to walk away and just stay hidden in what allows this devil, devil energy to, and that's energy of something that really has a, it holds some control over them, but it allows that energy to blossom and continue to control them. And then on the other hand, they've got this energy that shines light on it. And it's like, okay, step aside. And it's like lightheartedly just scoots the devil energy aside too. It's not like some kind of difficult fight. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is also beautiful energy because this is inspired by you. Um, the Nine of Pentacles, every time I see it here, it seems like there's this feeling like um, as if it is inspired by you. Now, sometimes it's them comparing themselves against you and it doesn't come up very favorable. It's not good for anybody because they don't end up doing themselves any good by making such a comparison. But here, they are better because of you. We have the Empress here, which is saying that they're um, they're still not feeling that this is their feminine energy, and they're still not feeling um, 
that ability to be vulnerable just yet but they are again feeling this energy of kind of being able to dabble a little bit and I think that's how that is going to start when they start to move into a place of being able to be more vulnerable but I get the sense that they're going to move in and back um, a couple of times especially with this knight of wands energy that we have over here um, that's just in the energy as far as um, something that they may feel compelled to do all right, so let's see here. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse as well as the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. The Three of Pentacles in the reverse, simply put, they don't feel like things are going their well, way. And the Queen of Pentacles in reverse kind of feels like maybe they're just not made for, they're not built for whatever it is. They There's something that they are um, experiencing some difficulty. And I'm, I'm getting like the Five of Cups in the upright, which... I, I don't love, love seeing that card for them because what it means is, um, and it hasn't come out, but what that's the feeling that's here. It's this feeling of focusing on things that are not necessarily positive and not necessarily going to help them out. So they're focusing on not something that is inaccurate, but something that is a downside without balancing it um, as focus, you know, with the focus on whatever's the upside. So there's a lot of opportunity in here. Some of it they're really able to see and they're really able to feel it today. But there's still a lot of mystery in them about how do I move forward? What would I actually do? This two of wands has come up again. So this came up a couple times yesterday. And this one was about the impasse between the two of you or the difference or whatever it is. That's, it's really something that gets used um, as a lever to push the two of you apart and to hold the two of you apart a little bit. Um, but there's there's this lack of certainty about what to do with it. There's the strength card here, but that's them um, leveraging your strength and feeling like they're holding on to your strength a little bit with their energy closer to you the way that it is now. Um, we see a little bit more of that anyway. So there's a, there's a need for them to... Um, to go after some truths, but when they go after it, they keep finding some things that they're pretty unhappy with. And so it's a challenge for them because they have to go back and kind of go back into their thinking cave and start doing some more um, seeking of truth, but they don't feel comfortable doing so. And they don't really feel like they trust their perception of what they're going to find when they get in there. So there is some lack of self-trust going on with your person. Oh boy, I just barely caught that one. Um, let's see, and we have this Ten of Cups. They're having this realization again. So this is around this opportunity, this sun opportunity and this world that's in reverse because things aren't necessarily over yet. They're having this feeling that they're on a, like a merry-go-round. They're on, you know, yesterday we talked about a skating rink where you could, you had the opportunity to get off the ice, but you know, you just keep going past the door or they keep going past the door. Um, they need to understand what they're going to do when they decide they're going to actually go out that door. And that's something that they're actively thinking about right now, but it creates a lot of um, consternation, a lot of frustration, a lot of uncertainty for them. Um, I think when we get into the extended for this, we're going to look into their emotions and, and just kind of see because we see the emotion opening up for them a little bit with the Ace of Cups and the Dabbling King of Cups. But I'd like to see a little bit more what that means because they're actively thinking about some things that they have mostly been trying not to think about. And it's not going to be everybody, but it's enough of them that it's showing up here. Um, they're, they're actively thinking about some things that in your past that they have not been thinking about and trying to think, well, what would I do if I was back in time and I was able to go and think about this? Um, and they want, what they would really like to do and what they feel like they've been cultivating in themselves but feel like they need to test. So this is a perception um, and it's one that they know that they're just holding a perception. They haven't had the opportunity to really test it in a place that matters. But they, they believe that they're um, into, they're getting into a place now where they're a little bit better at, um, I guess, negotiating what's going to be important and deciding what they're going to focus on and make sure that it's the right thing. So not fighting the wrong battles, not getting into this my way or the highway sort of mindset um, and not winning a battle just for the sake of winning it. We also have the Knight of Pentacles here in the reverse, which talks about them being inclined to stop. So um, even though we've got this beautiful energy that's come up here with them, and even though they've got um, 
the the overthinking starting to fall away and the realization of kind of some of the opportunities the motion forward there's still this tendency in them it's it's less of a reaction to fear and more of a habit because they're used to reacting in that way that's what you're going to see evidence of so if you see them coming back in your direction because i feel like again they're going to do a little bit of this um, if they, if you feel like you see them come back in, in your direction, but they still don't know what to do when they run into this 10 of cups, um, be aware that this may happen a few times. This may be something where they have to go around that rink a few times and cycle before they're able to come out and truly know what they're going to do with this 10 of cups energy when they have it. That's like running into something that seems like it's too good to be true. And there's a, whole spectrum of behavior between the black and the white, between the yes and the no. And right now they can't really fathom what any of that would look like or how they might manage it. So um, that that's kind of what's happening with them right now. We saw confusion come out for them yesterday. Um, here they start to feel like they're coming out on top of it, but there's still a fair amount of mystery in the energy and a still a, a fair amount of fear and kind of almost an avoidance of going back into this thinking cave to go back and do what feels like some additional work there. Um, and it is, I don't blame them for seeing that as work, um, but it's going to be incredibly rewarding. When we get into the extended, we'll look in kind, into kind of how their emotional makeup, how they're half, half, how they're handling things, wow, emotionally, especially given this energy that they've got across the rest of um, across the rest of the reading. So first, let's look at the focus for you. So yesterday, when we got into the focus for you, and um, it was kind of a um, cross with what can you be doing. Um, some of the focus that came up just reminded us of how much it helps them when you do something positive for yourself. When you do something that helps you and makes you better, um, it automatically works to make them a little better as well. Helps to clear their path. So we have that Ten of Swords. And here in the reverse, um, I think I've shared a couple of times when I first started reading tarot, I you know, the Ten of Swords is often this person who's lying there with Ten Swords painfully stuck in them. Um, and the Ten of Swords in reverse is not the opposite of that painful ending that we see depicted in the beginning or in the upright version. It's the swords having the opportunity to fall out so healing can begin. Um, and that's kind of where your focus, where you need your focus to be. There are swords that, okay, so you have pains that were created or things that happened to you prior to this person that you were still working through, the, the onion that you were peeling, you still had numerous layers there. This experience with this person has added a few more layers, or in this metaphor, it would be that it's stuck in a few more blades. Um, so you have some opportunity for healing, but not really until these blades start to remove themselves. And so the way that you're set up right now, um, with this in reverse, it's feeling like you're able for some of those, um, you're able to have some of those blades fall out now and for the healing to begin. You're encouraged to capitalize on that, um, on that learning, on the healing that happens, on the any rest rejuvenation, you know, um, four of wands, or I'm sorry, four of fire. Wow. I really, I'm just trying to say four of wands, but what I'm, what I'm visualizing is the four of swords, which is four of air and talks about healing and a lot of that rest and rejuvenation that I'm suggesting that you um, need there. So we have a page of cups here. There is an apology that is set to come to you, but it hasn't come yet. Until it arrives, you're unlikely to have some of these swords fall out. So um, that is unless you're able to focus on your own growth in such a way that you're able to allow, um, allow some of your own reconciliation within yourself. And with this page of swords here, I see that happening. But with this four of swords in the reverse, I see that it is slow going. Um, I feel like it's slow going because you may not be receiving the apology that you need. Even if they come back and give you an apology, it feels like it may be a bit of an empty one because they haven't quite figured out how to deliver that yet or even how to write it. Um, <clears throat> with the page of swords here, though, there is a sense that you are... You are far more resilient in this energy than um, than I think what we've seen in the past. And one of the neat things here is that this is your your energy together. So 
with that little bit of a sense of opportunity and dabbling, a little bit less overthinking, all of that applies to you as well. But again, it feels like it probably does play out a little bit differently. I see that there's a lot of need for this healing. We see that with the Ten of Swords in reverse. It starts to become possible. But what I feel like here is it's an overwhelming amount that you're going to want to um, be able to benefit from. And yet there's going to be something about... The limitation, so we've got this King of Cups over here. This is the Sire of Cups in reverse. So we see in this one, there's that sense of dabbling, but over here, there's that sense of having met um, that limitation, having met that wall. I can no longer do any sort of emotion beyond a certain point, or I start to become emotionally um, unstable, uncomfortable, you know. So there's a little bit of that. You're going to find a wall like that inside yourself. And it is um, more or less inspired by what you've seen in your person. But it also has to do with some healing that you're still in the process of. Um, grab it by the tail when it happens. It may not be comfortable, but you should be able to get to the bottom of it and be able to figure out, like, why am I so upset right now? Um, I just dropped some more cards. And one of them came out that in the way that it wants to be used. This is the Queen of Wands, um, but it's coming out in the reverse. This is that feeling of, it's almost depression, but it's more or less just kind of a suppressed level of emotion. It's not coming at you as quickly. And then there's this feeling of, it's again, like not coming at you this quickly, but also this feeling of just not quite having the control there, not quite having everything that's needed. Um, and so not feeling like there's a need to come forward or not feeling able to come forward just yet. Um, we have the strength card in the upright, the eight of wands in the reverse, and the hanged dragon in the upright, which is like the hanged man. So the hanged dragon is about discomfort, but it is also about finding a new perspective and having a new way of looking at things. Um, after this experience, but also during this experience. During this experience is probably the important part of this message, especially as it relates to the Eight of Wands and the Strength card. So it's about holding your ground even when things aren't really moving forward quickly for you. And this may be a time where it feels like you're just you're in this holding pattern and you're trying to figure out, well, when is something going to change with this person? They've got so much going on in here that there's a lot that is actually changing, but it's not impacting you. Um, this is th this is these are things that are changing kind of within their um within their life within their environment like with we that's where their main focus is right now in a lot of cases um that means that they're not going to be as communicative and it's going to seem like well have they forgotten about me or you know and they it's not even a matter of forgetting in this case so much as they don't have the mental capacity for it We've seen that come up in a couple of readings, but it presents you with a choice. And it's exactly this that presents you with a choice because now you get to decide, like, are you going to continue down this path or is this something that you feel like you um, shouldn't do? Is this something that you feel like you don't need to, uh, you need to wait until they're ready to give their all as well, or at least um, able to give half? Because there's that sense of not having equal give and take and you being incredibly aware of it. We have the Nine of Cups here. There's still that need to push off and truly understand, go on that quest to truly understand what it is um, that is important to you and that makes you happy. Um, but it feels like this is something that you've done some degree of but maybe haven't quite finished. Your person, it feels like, has a lot more to go on that. We saw that in yesterday's reading. Um, here we have the Sire of Pentacles, though. And this is almost, I'm, I love that it's right here at the base. Because what it's really all about is you being deserving of the changes that you're undergoing. And some of them, you're really going to have to take a step back and look at it. Um, some of them, it, it won't really make sense until you have the benefit of hindsight. But there is some benefit to be had here just from even the place in this experience that you are, like we were being reminded over here. Being in the middle of this experience has its own level of value and you stepping up and being part of this, engaging it and saying, no, I'm part of this and I should be part of this. Um, that's really an important part of, um, of, this overall, of this overall experience. 
So I'm going to leave it here. We're going to jump into the extended. The link will be down below if you would like to follow me there. We're going to find out a little bit more about what's happening with your person. We'll jump, we'll jump a little bit more into their emotion. Um, I don't know if it turns into what happened yesterday where I'm just like, I have to keep pulling cards. It just kept wanting to give me more information. But like I said yesterday, I don't think there is anything I could have asked that would have given us better information than what we got in that extended reading. So we're going to go ahead and go into this one and we'll start with the question around your person's emotions and how they're handling what's happening, especially in light of this energy that's kind of surrounding you today. And um, we'll see what happens. We'll go from there. So thanks so much for being here with me and I look forward to seeing you in the extended or in another reading.